Baruch Hashem, with uh, deep appreciation to our Father in Heaven, we must remember always that we as individuals been sent down to this world on a mission and it's like to send soldiers behind the enemy lines to a foreign land to a foreign country to fight an evil enemy and suddenly something happened to those warriors and they lost their ways to communicate they lost touch with their home base and they cannot call and they cannot get no information about the condition and the future mission and they cannot report and they cannot tell no one what's going on with them and cannot be assisted by heaven in so many ways and in so many aspects and with all due respect to their home base to their commanders to their government to their people they must take decisions on their own and they of course been trained to those situations and they've been guided for so many years and educated and qualified for that rough mission but now they found themselves alone over there in complete foreign land surrounded by enemies and they need to come to some very brave decisions, conclusions, assumptions, and actions. And that's our condition. Even though we know in our hearts, in 100%, that the Creator never left us. And that the eternal love of our Father in Heaven to us is an eternal flaming fire in the core of our souls. And we don't feel abandoned and we never felt that he left us but our mission in this physical world is a mission for special forces special warriors brave brazen soldiers that believes in the mission and in their power and in their true potential of winning and completing the dream that they've been sent to achieve and to make come true it's in our power as those messengers of heaven on earth to bring complete redemption how are we gonna do it everyone will figure out his ways everyone will use the talents and the blessings that he's been blessed with by heaven everyone will reveal his qualities and his powers everyone will bring out to the light the hidden treasures and all his life experience that he been blessed with by God and he will use his qualities for that purpose and cause to bring complete redemption it's to rise above the force and power of nature it's to remind the world the fact that the Creator he is above his creation and that the creation itself surrenders to his voice as of now the creation is functioning in that way that there is a court in heaven and that court is judging the world on every thought on every word and every action and comes out with judgments and trials and therefore there is a crazy bloodshed and plagues poverty illnesses sicknesses weaknesses and all sorts and kinds of darkness and and evil in the world they are the punishment they are the judgments they are those trials that been that came out that been revealed by those um, court decisions in heaven but we as the soldiers we know that the mission that we've been sent to accomplish is higher and godly and standing in a place that is not bent to the 
court of heaven. We are souls that came to reveal the unconditional love of the Father to His children. We are obeying the rules, we are following the codes and the obligations of the Bible and the oral Torah, but in the same time, we know that there is no end and no limit to the flaming fire of the passionate love of the endless Creator to His beloved children. And we are here to reveal that to the world. We are here to break out with the news that the unconditional love of the Father to His children is about to spread and hit waves to change the world from being run by the heaven's court to be run by the prayers of the righteous ones. The righteous ones are those ones who never left the Creator, who never left their siblings behind, who never took care of themselves in a selfish way, just dedicated their lives for the sake of their siblings. And we are those ones, each and every one of us, who joins this army, who connects himself from within to that movement of good and precious souls who are fighting to reveal the goodness and kindness and all kinds of high and elevated qualities that are treasured inside our own souls, those are the ones who are being called righteous. Those are the ones who are the children of truth of the Almighty. Those are the ones who are chosen by Him to reveal His loving kindness to the world. And we are those who will reveal the grace and the glory and the beauty to the whole wide world with our honest actions and simple prayers, with our love with our compassion and generosity. We're going to remove the curtain of darkness and evil and we're going to brighten the world with the beauty of our attributes and good deeds. May the Creator answer to our roar and our scream, our tears and our cries and bring down the salvation to earth now in our days and for all of us to be redeemed with a happy heart with a wishing soul with healthy eyes and hearts in the life of ours and all our loved ones amen <laughs>